Electric cars are often viewed as cutting edge technology of the modern era, but their roots actually trace back to the dawn of the 20th century. Surprisingly, many of the original vehicles on the roads were electric cars. As a lot of horse carriage companies turned into automobile companies, there were three propulsion technologies that were competing to dominate this emerging automobile market. Despite having huge advantages over its competition, the internal combustion engine and steam power engine, the electric vehicle failed to capture the buying public's imagination, pretty much disappearing for 100 years until returning from obscurity. Let's dive into the fascinating history of electric cars. It all started way back in the 1830s when inventors started looking for better options than the horse-drawn carriage. Inventors such as Scotsman Robert Anderson and Dutch chemist Sabrandus Strating started to develop the first electric horseless carriages. These battery-powered carriages were a breakthrough in electric propulsion, but incorporated non-rechargeable batteries. They could run up to 15 minutes and had a precarious design with a porcelain jar filled with dilute acid. And people think the Cybertruck is unsafe. Rechargeable batteries weren't invented until 1859, making this new invention a cool thing to look at, but not practical for everyday use. It wasn't until 1881 that the first true electric car powered by a rechargeable battery came out. Using this new rechargeable battery technology, French inventor Gustave Trouvet introduced a working three-wheel automobile at the International Exhibition of Electricity in Paris. This was a few years before Carl Benz unveiled the first automobile to be powered by a gasoline internal combustion engine. But one of the main advantages of the electric vehicle, a smoother ride, was negated by the fact that these horseless carriages had solid tires. This all changed in the late 1880s with the introduction of air-filled tires. This allowed the electric vehicle to take advantage of the smoothness of its ride. This set the stage for the start of several electric vehicle companies, as well as commercial battery production. The electric car is only as good as its battery, and improvements in battery design and efficiency over the next couple of decades help propel the electric car ahead of gasoline-powered and steam-powered cars. Several land speed records help with the popularity of the electric car as well. In late 1898 in France, a streamlined electric vehicle set the first land speed record with a speed of 39 miles an hour. Electric vehicles dominated in regards to speed over its noisy and smelly gas-powered competitors, breaking several more land speed records in 1899. From January 1899 to April of 1899, the land speed record increased from 39 miles an hour to over 65 miles an hour, all done by electric vehicles. This helped ring in the golden age of electric cars. In 1900, there were more electric cars sold in the United States than gasoline cars and about the same as steam-powered cars. So why were electric cars so popular at the turn of the century? Even though the internal combustion engine was progressing quickly, the electric car had numerous advantages. Due to a lack of smooth roads, most car travel happened within a built-up town or city, so there wasn't too much worry about battery range at the time. They were easier to use and start compared to their competition. Steam power cars needed constant care, including closely monitoring the pressure gauges, and had a start time of up to 30 minutes. Gasoline power cars were harder to start, and manual transmission was not like it is today. It was very difficult to master back then. Electric cars offered a quieter and smoother ride. I own a Tesla, and I love how quiet and smooth it is. In 1900, the British Daily News proclaimed electricity to be the future for automobiles. They may have been correct, but they were way off on their timing. By 1920, the electric car became almost obsolete and completely lost their market share to the gasoline power cars who dominated the automobile market. So what happened in a span of two decades that completely wiped out this emerging technology? First, with more cars came more roads that connected different towns. People were now looking to travel further away from home on these new smooth roads and needed vehicles with more range. At the time, electric vehicles had a range of about 30 to 40 miles before they needed to be recharged. Worldwide discoveries of petroleum made gasoline readily available and inexpensive. Also, the gas-powered cars got major upgrades during this time, 
the electric start was invented in 1912 by Charles Kettering, eliminating the need for a hand-starting crank, and the invention of the muffler helped reduce the noise in gas-powered cars. Simply put, the upgrades in gas-powered cars outpaced the improvements in the electric car's batteries, which still struggled in cold weather and going up hills. There also wasn't a sufficient infrastructure for the ability to recharge the electric cars. The mass production of gas-powered cars by Henry Ford brought their prices down so that the common man could afford a car, which pretty much put the final nail in the coffin for the more expensive electric car. Electric cars pretty much disappeared for about 100 years, peeking its head out every now and again. Then, at the turn of the next century, due to the rise of energy costs and the increase in global warming threat, brought back the market for electric cars. This time, it looks like they may be here to stay. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Please subscribe for more fun videos. Take care.